Hey guys, and welcome to my mine shaft on the Koala Craft Vanilla server. I have found over here, oopsies, it's right down here. Here we go. I found an abandoned mine shaft, which I've just barely started exploring, and I no longer have torches for. So I'm gonna have to go make some torches. But this is going to be an excellent episode. Um, yesterday was my birthday. Yay me. Yay birthdays. January the 13th. So that was fun. Um, I don't actually have cake for my birthday though. I have these things called cookie cakes. It's like, imagine a giant round cake, except instead of a cake, it's a giant, massive, moist, delicious chocolate chip cookie. Mmm, my goodness. Cookie cakes are like the second best invention to mankind. Really, they are absolutely fendilitistical. I I'm just making up words. That is how delicious they are. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it's a skeleton. So, this episode we are doing some exploramifying. I need to fix this. There we go. So we're doing some exploramifying. Uh, you are a zombie. Don't want you in my life. Leave me alone. Okay. Oh wait, my coal is in the other building. I'll go to tog and flogging. Nope, nope, nope. I'm just gonna kill everything. You're dead. You're all dead to me, and you're going to drown. You can't escape. Okay. So, here we are. Let's see here. I need wood. And I'll take this stick as well. And let's make a bunch of torches. Okay. So, <clears throat> Yep. A wonderful birthday it was indeed. Uh, Kinsey and I went to a dance, so that was fantastical and fun, as dances are. So, all in all, I had a fantastic time. Um, however, there is one thing. There's one thing you guys can do to me. Do for me. For my birthday. Um, I was looking at my YouTube stats this morning and oh my goodness you guys in terms of viewership and stuff you guys have been doing excellent you guys have been supporting me liking my videos it's been great but there is one thing that I would like to address um so in the past 30 days I have gotten 50,000 video views, and that is excellent. I'm all for that. It is beautiful. However, um, of those 50,000 views, hardly 15 were monetizable. So, not even a half. It's like about a fourth. Uh, I think that's yeah, approximately. A fourth, I'm only getting paid for approximately a fourth of my views now. For There's some people who watch on mobile devices and stuff, and I get that. I get that. I get that you are on a platform that there are not ads for. But in terms of ad block, I want to I wanna ask a favor of you guys. If you guys are watching my videos, can you just turn ad block off? Just turn it off for like 10 minutes. Or you can, I'm not asking you to turn it off for all of YouTube, because I understand, you know, uh, sometimes you just, you don't want to have to sit there and watch ads, you're looking for a tutorial and you need to just get to it and watch it, I get that, I mean, I'm not going to like, call you guys evil or terrible people or anything for using ad block, but here, here's the reason I'm asking this, so, basically, I'm only getting paid for a fourth of my views, now, if I was getting paid for about half of my views, let's say instead of 15,000 monetizable views, I was getting, say, 25 or 30, which would, you know, that's over double the money for me. Now, it's not because I want more money, it's because I have a lot of things I would like to do for you guys, and these are things that are money dependent. For instance, fan servers. I would love to have a fan server for you guys, which is a complete possibility in the near future. However, if we could get some people to stop using ad blocker 
and you know, if you guys use ad blockers, like I said, I'm not, I'm not like crucifying you or anything because for general web browsing, I use ad blocker. But you know, on sites I want to support like YouTube and let's say roosterteeth.com and the Minecraft forum sites like that, I have it turned off because those are people I like their content. I want to support them. So if you guys could, if you, if we could get a double in my monetizable views so you know like I said 15 to 25 or even 30,000 which is again that is only half of my total views so I get 50,000 views on a monthly basis and I'm only asking to be paid for 25 of them I don't I don't think that's unreasonable and here's why for the fan server stuff if I can get you know the 50, the 25 or the 30,000 monetizable views versus the <clears throat> 15 or so I'm currently getting, I would have enough money today, like right now, I would have enough YouTube money to go and get a fan server set up for you guys. So, I mean, uh, the fan server will happen eventually, but here's the thing. If I'm only getting... <clears throat> Paid for a fourth of my views, I'm going to have to get. Let's see here. I'm gonna have to get like 120,000 views a day to get to the point where I could afford a fan server for you guys at the current uh, viewership to payout rate. And that will take. I don't know. That may take, depending on how fast I grow, that could take almost a year. And I would like a fan server ASAP because, you know, you guys are great and uh, community involvement is something that I think is very important. So, you know, that was just my, uh, it's my little rant for the video, just kind of saying that, you know, if you guys use Adblocker, uh, just, if you want to support me, just go ahead and just disable it for 10 minutes while you're watching a video. Go ahead and help me out, and like I said, if, um, if we can, if we can get people to disable that ad blocker plus you know fan server would be really close to happening it would be like right there completely attainable and then of course you know we would talk about what exactly you'd like maybe like a pvp fan server would be kind of cool so you know instead of having some kind of let's play world where random people come on and grief it we'll just have like a pvp thing where you know you guys as fans can come and hang out and then you know, the Koala Craft guys will pop on and say hi to all the fans every once in a while. For the love of fudge cakes, man. That is so rude. I don't even hear him hissing. Those creepers are getting sneakier. I swear, I swear they're getting sneakier at what they do. Oh jeez, that was... <laughs> Thank goodness for iron armor. Let's be... Let's be cereal here. For my birthday, iron armor. Excellent. Okay, so eventually I'm going to come through here and take all this wood, probably. Maybe. I might not. Who knows? Um, I do. I will definitely take this coal. I love abandoned mine shafts because they're just like. They're not like normal mine shafts where it's just like you'll easily get lost and ugh. And you can't find your way out, and you have to spend like several hours off camera searching around and trying to find things. Abandoned mine shafts are like the best thing ever. Ever, ever, ever. Yes, I love this. Hey, redstone under a rail track. Sweet. Okay, so there's lava directly above me, which is a good thing because I need obsidian. Mm, nope, 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 nope. Not happening. Let's try over here. Yeah, okay. That should be for the love of man. I am filming. You are interrupting the creative process. It's so rude. There is no respect for art these days. Okay, so let's go up here and see what there is to see, if you'll see what I'm saying, see? Okay, here we are, another layer of the mine shaft, and it is only one block. I really need like a pool of lava. A pool of lava would be excellent. Be much appreciated. I love mining coal. I don't know what it is. There's just so much of it. It's like oddly rewarding. Let's 
get rid of this. There we go. Let's go block off this water, and we'll light up this little section. I just, I love abandoned mine shafts because you're just like, you're exploring the depths and the unknowns. Oh, it's so fantastic. Makes me feel all adventurous. I'm totally going to take all of these rails. Okay. Do these ones have the torches on them or something? Yep. Okay. I was wondering why it was so well lit up in here. Okay, good. This is the end of the world as we know it. Alright. So I'm trying to... What do you guys... How do you guys normally explore mine shafts? Because I try to, like, systematically go down shaft by shaft to make sure I don't miss anything. Do you guys just, like... Do you guys have, like, a technique? Or do you just, like, randomly wander around? Because my goal is to try to get, like, the whole system lit up. But I don't know. There's different ways to do it. Let's see here. I'll just pop back down here. And go back this way. Do, do, do. Let's see here. Let me try to get back to the beginning of this. I I think it was a coal vein that led me here. Okay, yeah, so here we are. Back at Le Intradad. And so far we have like a ton of goodness. Gonna need all that redstone. Redstone you just you eat through like no one's business. Okay, so that is a zombie. Or should I say that was a zombie? Okay, so let's try to take my systematic approach here. So let me block off this water. Like so. And we'll light up this area. Ooh, there's lapis. Excellent. I don't know why. I'm actually thinking I'm going to try to use some lapis in my builds as, like, accents. Ooh, there's another, another branch up here I'll have to check out. I'm also hoping I'm going to find a pool of lava in here somewhere, because I have enough diamonds to make a diamond pick, but I don't want to make a diamond pick until there's obsidian for me to grab. Because until I get a bunch more diamonds, I'm probably not going to really use them for much. I don't know, it's just the way I play Minecraft Survival. It isn't until I get about, you know, like at least a quarter stack of diamonds saved up that I really start using them. Part of that reason is I like to build an enchanting table and such first and be able to enchantimify all my goodness because even level 1 enchantments like vastly improve tools and make them so much better. Okay, so... So much stuff. So much stuff. I hear slimy slime slimes. Let's see here. <laughs> Come back to all this in a second, because I hear slimes. Yes, Mr. Slime. Oh, hello! <gasps> Is that a pool? Yes! It's beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. I found my pool of lava. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, there we go, lighting update. So, mm hmm. It, I think I know what we're doing next episode. Next episode is Nether Portal Time. Oh, yeah. So, you guys should tune in next time for some Nether Portal goodness. But, until then, doodles. Thanks for watching.